everyone, um, so today I'm doing another video, and I just did a video, like, a steal a haul, so if you guys are, like, wearing the same outfit, that's because I just did a steal a haul. Um, now I'm going to be doing my travel makeup bag video, like, it's in that bag. Uh, and I know that's kind of, like, I'm not even going on vacation soon, so I don't know why I'm doing this now. I just felt like doing it, so I'll probably have this one up right now, like, my general travel, and then, um, I'll have to do, like, another one when I go travel, and I'll be, like, um, like summer vacation makeup travel bag. This is just in general. This is all year long. This is something I could just take all year long. So it's not like oh just for summer or just for fall or just for winter. It's like all year long. Except a few things in there I would only say for summer, but that's because I was just kind of hacking fast. Okay, the makeup bag I use is this really cute bud one. It's like really pretty, and it's it's like one of the bags you get for free with a bunch of stuff in it from Clinique. This one says Trina Turk for Clinique. And she's really cute and nice. Okay, so let's open it up and see what's in it. Alright, so you guys can see I did pack a lot. I don't want to hear that I packed my whole collection because I know so many people on YouTube when they do these video videos, they pack like bunches of things. And honestly, they pack their whole collection. Um, and I did not pack my whole collection, so I don't want to hear that I packed my whole collection because I didn't pack my whole collection. So please, just if you want to say that, just don't say it and just keep it in your mind because I really didn't pack my whole collection. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's get started. First thing I'll start with is makeup, like face makeup. Okay, so every day I always apply my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion so I always bring it and I, this one is a small travel size one that I really like and I bring it on travel so that's always my travel makeup bag then it's my NARS Pro Prime which this one's the oil free one which I don't know why I got the oil free one but um I should have got the SPF one because honestly I don't have oily skin so it's just doesn't it's not like I need the oil free one but whatever I like it so I bring that next is my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and this is in Fiji. Like I said, I'm not packing right now for traveling over summer. But when I do my makeup travel bag for summer, I'm going to have some other products in it that are SPF friendly. Because these are SPF friendly. I love this foundation. Um, to finish that foundation off, I always use my Clinique Redness Solution Instant Relief Mineral Powder. I use this sometimes alone just to get my redness away when I don't have to wear foundation. But other days I wear it over to finish it because it doesn't really make your skin yellow, it just finishes your powder or your foundation. My bronzer I use like every single day is from this set that's called the Powder Aussie set by Benefit. And it's the Hula Bronzer. I love this bronzer to death. Um, everyone loves it. It's just like this perfect bronze shade for me. And um, it gives me such a pretty bronze. And it's matte. And it's super creamy, and I can't even believe how creamy it is. So it's really amazing. Um, for every day, I always wear this MAC MSF in champagne. That's why the backs are really dirty, so just ignore that. And it's so pretty. Like, it's this really pretty goldish champagne color. Um, I love this to death. It's so smooth. I don't want to stop swatching this. There you go. And like, look, I've used so much. It's not even a dome anymore. If this runs out, I'm never, I'm not gonna know what to do because I love that. And use it every single day. Blush wise, I'm only, I would only really pack one blush because I don't like pack powder blushes when I go because I'm always nervous that they're gonna break. And also, the powder oxy set has a blush in it, the Coral Lisa blush, and it has the Dallas too. So I mean, that's not a blush, but still, it's in there anyway. So, I mean, I have quite a few options, but the blush I like to bring is the NYC Blushable Cream Stick. And this is a big old blush because it's like a, a fuchsia. So, it's just really pretty, and I think it's gorgeous because it is a fuchsia. Like, if that, it looks gorgeous when you blend it. It looks gorgeous. It's just like blended. It looks really pretty, and it looks really like almost every outfit. So, I packed one, and it's a cream blush because I don't like powder to break. So. Moving on to eyes, I think, so I'm pretty sure I'm done with face. Okay, eyes. Um, my eye, Urban Decay Powder Potion, I love this. This is a mini baby one because I didn't want to buy the vintage one because, honestly, that's like, you hear so many people are like, I cut mine open to get it out. I hope it doesn't dry up. I don't want to do that much work. 
That only came out with two sides, so I have to get that before I go on vacation this summer. Um, next is my Wild Color Icon Trio in Walking on Eggshells, which I love this trio. It looks like this. It's really pretty. It's like a pink champagne color, a brown, and then a white. Really gorgeous. Great for traveling because these are really velvet soft. They're like the Benefit Velvet eyeshadows. I'll swatch just this pink one. Well, I hope I can... It's on my finger, but you guys can't see it. Like, it's really pigmented, honestly. My arm really hurts. I got a shot, and it really hurts. Okay. Moving on. Um, my seal. This one's the, probably one of the products I shouldn't have put in because, honestly, it's more for summer, but whatever. The um, Stila Collectible Travel Palette in Fabulous in Fiji. And it's really cute packaging. comes with four bluish eyeshadows and a really pretty convertible um, color, which I love this convertible color. I'll put it on because it's really sheer. So it doesn't really make it look plummy, even though that's the color. It just gives it a nice, like, sheer tint. Very pretty. Love that. Next thing I would bring is this still a perfect eye palette, the talking palette, and this is really cute and really great for traveling for a really good sized eyeshadow, and it just creates a really pretty natural eye. I packed my two Urban Decay um, eyeshadows, one in half baked and one in baked. And I put a half baked all over my lid, and then I put bake in my crease and. Let me just open them and I'll show you guys them. This is baked and this is half baked. Really gorgeous golds. And Urban Decay eyeshadows are probably my favorite because they're so creamy. They're really creamy. I love them. Next one eyeshadow I bring is the MAC eyeshadow. It's an Etou Bouquet and this is a frost. This is like limited editions. You can't get any more. But honestly, if you have CCO, you probably can find it most definitely because CCO always have them when I go there. And it's just this light pink that has a lot of shimmers in it. It's kind of similar. Let me check. Never mind. It's not similar at all. Well, it's kind of similar to. Let me check. I'm oh, sorry. I keep saying that, but honestly, I need. I don't want to like tell you guys wrong. No. Never mind. Nothing similar to it that I know of. So sorry. I love that. Then I'd bring my MAC Paint Pot in Indian Wood because that would look really good under baked and half baked. So, this is a pretty gold. I love that. Uh, then I'd bring my two silica convertible eye colors, one in indigo and one in clove because they are amazing and really good on the go. Like, I would be in vacation. Indigo is a really pretty blue, and then clothes and brown and if you guys really want these in detail I would check out my Stila haul that I just did. Um, I take my All May Eyeliner Crayon Contour in black which is just really good um, eyeliner I put on my lower lash line. I bring my Stila Liquid Eyeliner because it's like the only kind of liquid eyeliner I can actually apply because it's like marker type. I take my Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Smoky Quartz. This is a nice gray. If you guys want to swatch it, check out my Stila haul that I just did. Um, I would take my Maybelline 1x1 one one mascara because I love this mascara. Like that. And of course, it's in very black. The blackest they have. Then I take my eyelash curler, that's just from Gover Girl, which is really dirty, but it's really amazing. Then I'll move it on to lips. I only would take three lip products, so I'm not really a big fan of lip products. I just usually wear chapstick because it looks really good. And also, there's a lip product in that palette right here. So, I mean, the lip, um, I'd always take EOS lip balm, no matter what. If it's winter, if it's summer, if it's whatever, I'd always take that. I love that. And, um, take the Revlon Super Luscious Lip Gloss in 170 Coral Reef, which is a really pretty coral. Or I would take it on, also have another one in Peach Petal, which I love. So that one would probably be more all year, and this would probably be more for summer. And the last product I take is my, lap, my MAC Lip Gloss in Viva Gaga, which is just like this 
really gorgeous pink and I love this. So yeah, I definitely, that's all the stuff I would take from the money to buy. This thing about me so much, I could put, fit like way more than that stuff, but I just didn't want to put too much because too much guys to say anything about me taking so much stuff because I took a lot of high products because I love my eye makeup to look good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to comment down below and request some videos because I really need some requests and definitely subscribe. I would love to subscribe. It'd make my day. It'd make my summer if you subscribe. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and bye.